still is also coming closer mm -hmm. was there any discussion regarding no no that? we have first of all i wanted to make my people understand what are the points we have raised in the tpras accord and what is the negotiating hap negotiations happening in delhi it is very important that our people know what are the talks which are happening and which are the agenda so i put it across to my uh, party members especially at the block and district level second thing is uh, uh, we have also distributed membership forms today and i have also said that we have to not un we have to understand one thing that agar batoge to katoge so we want if we divide ourselves today we will get nothing so today was also a talk to all my grassroots workers to understand how we should be working in the build up towards a better tomorrow for our people elections will come and go but our commitment to our people and our community must be uh, paramount and that is something which i want to uh, ensure to um, as you earlier also said the second round of talks are very close very close uh, so what can we expect we expect the that there will be a full fledged presentation by the tt adc to the home ministry we expect uh, the state government to send its two representatives i myself uh, mr rankol also will be there and it should happen by the third uh, we, by the end of november we are expected that uh, after the 16th or 20th he will be fixing a date for us to come and discuss this in detail any timeline for this talks to complete uh, tentative see uh, it depends if i today say everything is all right then we will get something but if we have to uh, ask something which is concrete if we have to uh, keep uh, persevering and we have to also see uh, how the state government uh, is looking at our demand if uh, all three are in harmony i don't see why we can't have a quick uh, re resolution but if one side sticks to its demand and does not agree to the other then uh, there may be some bottlenecks which will take time and maturity to negotiate uh, sir uh, uh, recently the other you have called for an thanks always it was your thing to call the uh, ipft had say that they are waiting for the dates to be declared after that they'll think about coming together this is the recent cw their central committee meeting was there today the bjp president had also said that since we are in the alliance we'll try to fight this election together because we have got good result in the parliamentary election so what is your view on that my view is that uh, we should all agree that development of the indigenous people and uh, certain issues like land rights Uh, constitutional rights and political and economic rights have to be agreed upon before we can come to any understanding ipft and tipra motha have no problem because more of more or less our demands what we have been raising in memorandum in writing in our speeches is almost the same regarding bjp if they are willing to support our demand i don't see any reason why they should not come even congress if they are willing to support our demand why should we object to them also our fight is not against any party Our fight is for the empowerment of our community, and we will do it. Recently, an incident about rigging had taken place. Though the government is looking into, uh, how do you see? What is your message? I don't agree with ragging of any sort, but I do believe that if uh, the punishment is very harsh, then it should be reconsidered. Uh, I'll meet the principal. I'll try to find out. I met the parents of the people whose children have been uh, pulled up for the ragging. and i'll meet the principal and understand what is their side of the story whatever it is uh, uh, i don't think any one should be uh, punished so harshly either ways so that their careers are destroyed if people have expressed uh, remorse and apologized then penalty should be uh, put across and if the ragging is not so harsh then we have to dis differentiate between uh, ragging where people uh, yeah people are physically hurt Uh, when they are mentally targeted, or when there is a harmless uh, banter which takes place, so we have to realize that there is a big difference between that. And uh, I will meet the principal and I'll uh, listen to his point of view. I've heard the parents' point of view, and I'll try to bring some sort of a resolution so that careers are not affected either way. Sir, you have been out of the state meeting the students. People of Tripura uh, who are studying outside realize that uh, their career is better off outside than in Tripura. that's the reason people are going and uh, there are a lot of talented boys and girls who are studying very well they are very enterprising but we don't seem to have a a policy where we can absorb them or give them uh, a career to become entrepreneurs or to build up the skill level 
uh, and I see a lot of frustration in them. I meet them because I, it's very important for me to also articulate that what I'm trying to do for them. And it's very important for me also to listen to what they're trying to, uh, what they're thinking, is, what is in their heart. So I think uh, if we can meet uh, our youngsters halfway, we will only do service to our country and to our state. They are the future of our state. And if they feel frustrated and if they feel that they are not being heard, then we are doing injustice to our next generation. That's the reason I go out and meet them and I engage with them. I also learn something, they also learn something from me. And that way we all actually uh, increase each other's knowledge. And the last question is, sir, when you say we have to keep patience to get the fruits, particularly these talks, <coughs> uh, hang on, one of your MLA uh, recently we have seen, he have raised question about the number of seats that Tripramota has diverted from its own demand, uh, that is the Greater Tripraland, and that uh, you have made wait for BGP to win this election. On uh, particularly Chitranjan, the Burma had raised this issue. What is your reaction on that? Well, uh, regarding his statement, uh, I think uh, I'll deal with him uh, at a different level, not through the media. Uh, and uh, as today, you can ask any of my people. I've not given up my demand for Greater Tripraland. And uh, I think there are processes in the party. And uh, if someone has made a statement like this, I'm not aware that he's made a statement. If he has, then uh, we will talk to him and we'll probably bring it to his knowledge that we have not given up a demand for Greater Tipra land or Article 2 and 3. It is very clear and even today I've articulated that. And uh, made way for BJP? No, you can't make way for BJP. BJP did not come to power in Delhi because of Tipra Motha. BJP came to power in Delhi because the opposition could not defeat the BJP in Uttar Pradesh, could not defeat them in Delhi, could not defeat them in Madhya Pradesh, in Gujarat. Uh, they got a lot of seats in Assam. It is not because of Tipra Motha that BJP is in power in the centre. And uh, Mr. That MLA himself understands that we have to talk to all the party, whichever is in centre, because our demand is can be only fulfilled by the central party. If tomorrow Congress is in power, I'll talk to them. So my point is, it is, Tipra Motha cannot bring Congress to power and Tipra Motha cannot claim to take the credit of bringing BJP to power in Delhi. And we have to talk to whoever is in power in Delhi to get a constitutional pass. Thank you, sir.